In today's video I'm going to show you how to make a flashlight that works in Roblox Studio. So this flashlight is going to be able to turn on and off and it's going to make the area that it's pointing at completely bright. So it's a really good tool that can be used in your games. So before I start I'll quickly show you how it works. So you select one and the flashlight is turned on. Now I have mine set sideways and if I come in here and I click, there we go. If I click it's going to turn it on and off. But I've got mine set sideways but you can set yours to any direction you want it to be. And obviously it'll be in your hand, it won't be floating. Mine's just like this because I've been fiddling around with the settings. So before we get started I want to make sure that you watch the whole video the whole way through to ensure that you do everything right and you don't mess anything up because it could mess up your game and you don't want that to happen. So the first thing we want to do is we want to, in our workspace, we want to create a new tool like this, boom. Now inside this tool, what we want to do is we want to add a part. And the part we're going to use is a cylinder one, so just like this. And I'm just going to move this in the air quickly like this. And I'm going to resize it a little bit so that it's it's smaller. The idea is that we're going to make it the sort of same shape as a torch. So I'm going to make it about that big here, like this. And now I'm going to add another part on top of that. Like this. Well, that's gone over there, I don't know why. In fact, I'm going to delete that one. I'm just going to duplicate this one here, so Control D. And what I'm going to do for this part is I'm going to move it out here a tiny bit. I'm going to increase the scale of it a little bit like this. Maybe that's a bit big, like that. And I'm going to uh, change the length of it to about here. And then I'm going to move this to the end. So right now what we're basically doing is we are creating the flashlight itself. So let's have a look at this, see if we like the way it looks. Cool. And that looks pretty good as a flashlight. Maybe I'll just make this a tiny little bit bigger, uh, like this. And I'm going to move it down here. Now the next thing we can do on this flashlight actually is to change the colour of it if we want to do that. So if I select it, I'm sure you know how to change the colour of things. Um, we can do that down here. So if we want to change the colour we could do. Um, I would put it as black because you know most torches seem to be black. And we could even go as far as changing the material to like a metal colour. So we got metal there. And on here we're also going to go for metal. So now we really have a... This looks like a torch. It looks pretty good. So the next step here is to select both of these parts that we've just made. Right click it and then we want to union them. Basically what this is going to do, this is going to um, basically put them together into one item so now we've basically got this flashlight here as one item now by default the name is going to be union we want to change this to handle like this and we want to find the tool that we just created and put it in here now we want to rename this tool up here to something like flashlight so flashlight like that now that we're here what we can do is we can add some lighting to this torch so we're going to go and add on the handle, we're going to press add and we're going to add surface light like this. And I'm going to click on it and at the moment you can see it's directing that way, we don't want it to be that direction. What we're going to do is go to the face and we're going to change the face until we get the right one. So mine says right but like you might want to fit around, yours might be front, yours might be left but I'm going to do right because that's my one. So you can see this is the area that the torch is going to shine in. The next thing we want to do is we want to change the brightness, so if you want it to be really bright you can turn it all the way up, if you want it like a little bit dim you can do that, pretty nice. Um, you can change the range, so if you want it to like spread out loads you can do that, you can have shadows on and off if you want it to cast shadows, you can have angle and you can also have brightness, so if you've got like a older kind of light you can change it to like yellow and that gives it a bit of like a um, a slightly bit more horror kind of feel if you have it a bit yellow so like this it makes it look a lot more natural as well 
So that's pretty cool, right? So we've got the torch now. The next thing we want to do is we want to be able to, we want the light to make a sound when it turns on and off, so like a click. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go over to the side here, we're going to type in flashlight click, go to audio, and we want to find an audio that sounds good. So, I have like this one, so I'm going to click on that one and we're going to insert it. Now, what we want to do from there is we want to add it into the handle, so that it's there like that. And we're going to rename this to flashlight sound. Flash flash light sound just like that make sure it's in the handle section now we want to add a local script inside of the handle so we want to do it inside of the flashlight sorry and we go here type in local script just like this and it's going to pop a window like this now from here we want to post paste in this code that i'm going to do here um, you can write it out or it'll probably be in the description. So this is the code here that we need to have. Nice. So. Now once you're done you need to go down here to surface light. And you need to make sure that this is not enabled. Make sure it's disabled. This will allow it to be turned on and off. Now from here we want to um, click on flashlight. And we want to fiddle with the orientation and these ones here basically the grip orientation so this will change the direction that it's gripped at now you can fiddle around with this um, you can fiddle around with this until it gets right but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now but basically this will change the direction that you hold it sort of thing so I think that is ready to go and at this point we can press play actually it's not I messed up I'm gonna go back quickly what we need to do at this point is we need to grab this whole flashlight and I'm just going to delete this. Grab the whole flashlight and we need to put it into starter pack here. So this is what the person is going to have when they start the game. So now we can hit play and I should start the game with it. Boom, so we've got flashlight. Um, for some reason it's not being picked up. Let me just see what the error I've done there is. For some reason, this one, I don't know why, the flashlight is uh, not in my hand. I'm not really sure why, but it should be working. I've managed to get this one to work, um, as you can see here. I'm not sure why this one works and the other one doesn't. Uh, if you know why, then please let me know. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Plus, comment down below your thoughts and any changes that you can think to make to this to make it work. Thank you for watching.